Yes, and welcome back to Train Simulator 2018, everybody, where me, the absolute noob, is learning how to drive trains. Now, this is tutorial number seven. So if you haven't checked out part one through six, go and do that first before checking out this episode. But if we just jump into the academy, and we have got a look, look at that. Look at all these gold stars we have earned. We've only got a few to go, actually. But anyway, we're into the safety aspect of the train. Probably something I need to pay, pay attention to. So let's go and check out the diesel, the SD70 Mac safety system. Okay, here we go. The SD70 Mac's ripping along the academy tracks here. 00093, I should say. In this lesson, we'll learn about the Alerter Driver Vigilance System. Close the box. Driving a train is an important job. Okay. A moving train with no driver is very dangerous. No shit. To ensure the train is still in safe hands, a system regularly checks that you are still at the controls. Okay. On this train, it's called the alerter. If there's no activity with the controls of the train for 60 seconds, the alerter will sound an alarm. You must respond in order to maintain, maintain control. If you don't, the train brakes will automatically be applied will be automatically applied every 60 seconds that's got to be annoying we need to turn the alerter system on close this message box and press shift control and d shift control bumper the alerter system is now on the train is already moving in 60 seconds the alerter alarm will sound okay the scenario end is coming close to us so the alerter must sound right before we hit the scenario end and we must have to push the button and then we're all feeling good. Oh, look at the countdown. 45 seconds. Very exciting. Let's go outside the cab because it's a bit boring sitting in there waiting for things to happen. Let's check out some of the scenery. Nice little pond over there. Looks like that could actually be a golf course there, although it looks like the greenkeeper hasn't really mowed the fairways for a while. Over this side we've got a footpath which just looks perfect for running or go-karting, whatever takes your fancy. Some trees over in the background there. We're hooping along here at 44.5 either miles or kilometres. It keeps changing. 15 seconds to go. Let's jump back in the cab. I'm feeling like we're probably going to have to push something. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Sand, bow, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to push. Hopefully it will tell us. Maybe on the panel here. Oh, there we go. This is the alert. It's checking you are still at the controls. Respond to the alarm by pressing Q on the keyboard or A on the controller. Why don't I just press that like that? Scenario complete! There you go ladies and gentlemen, easy as that. Okay, next. So we're still in uh, safety here. It should just automatically default back to where you were. Bumpfer. Let's go into the DMU, let's check out its safety system. So, back in a second. Okay, the DMU is racing past us. Looking for a... Oh, here we go, we've got a decent camera shot now. So let's check out what safety system, get it out there boy, what safety system might be on this train. Here we go. The DSD driver vigilance system. Okay, I've got a feeling it could be very similar. Driving a train, okay, moving train, okay, it's saying, hey, no driver, we're in the crap. We know that. 60 seconds DSD, they call it. Okay, that's cool. This train is already moving at, and after roughly 40 seconds, the DSD alarm will sound. Okay, good, good to know. Once again, let's get outside the cab and let's just check out some of the scenery. A little bit bland, the scenery over that side there at the academy. Looks like a rugby field on that side. It's very sporting around this part of town. We've got our go-kart track or cycling track or running track beside us. And it looks like a jail over there it could be. Or is that the other? It can't be a jail. Actually, it is a uh, the other training yard for the trains, for the uh, other parts of the academy, I should say. Anyway, we're in the DMU here. It's a diesel train and it looks like we've got two engines here attached we could probably uncouple that if we really wanted to now that we have the expertise from the last episode or one of the previous episodes i should say i can't remember was it the last one i can't remember anyway the alarm let's bang it boom far the train is not the train is happy to continue and most modern trains a dsd or similar alarm exists and continually ensures the train is under control stay alert stay vigilant stay safe great advice right there Scenario is complete. Let's bang out of that, guys. Okay. Oh, that would be annoying if that's on all the time and you're just trying to relax and drive. You can turn it off, obviously. Okay, now we're into the BR-189, the electric train. Let's check out its safety system. 
And here's our electric train just rolling on by. It's got the lights on full. Making sure people can see them. That's very safety conscious straight off the bat. We like that. Okay, we're going to get a pop up. Here it goes. The CIFA driver village vigilance systems. Once again, I'm picking this is going to be... Okay, let me read it properly though, just to be sure. Driving a train... Okay, we know that. Okay, we know that. So this is the same deal. It checks that you're at the wheel, so to speak. Do this by pressing shift number pad and enter. Shift. Oh, uh, what was it? Sifa or Scheichen Freischaltung. I think I nailed that. If there's no activity within the controls of the train for 30 seconds, Sifa will activate. The driver must respond in order to maintain control. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, in 30 seconds' time, let's cut to it. I'll come back in a second. The alert has triggered. Here we go. Number pad, enter, or this. There we go. The train's happy to continue. Stay safe. Oh, stay alert. Stay vigilant. Stay safe. Good to know. Good to know. Scenario complete, maybe? Yes? No? Please complete. Maybe here. Yes. There we go. Love it. All right, it looks like it's just this. Does this steam tray even have, have anything like this on it? Let's see. No, but we've got. Oh, this is the AWS. This is something a little bit different. Let's go and check that out. Hmm. It's ripping around here, this one. Doesn't look all that safe. Okay, we're back in the 170 diesel. The driver, the AWS driver vigilance system. Okay. Oh. Look at this, we've got some lights. The driver must always be aware of what the approaching signal is displaying, which requires him to be looking down the track at all times. As a driver needs to be aware of many things occurring in and around the train, to alert them of approaching signals, UK trains are equipped with the Advanced Warning System, or AWS. Very well named. Track magnets. A sensor called a ramp is placed between the rails approximately 186 metres in advance of every... <laughs> approximately 186. That's pretty specific in advance of every signal. As the train passes over the ramp, a sound is triggered in the cab which warns the driver of an approaching signal they must look out for. Okay. To aid, to aid the driver further still, the sound triggered in the cab is different depending on whether the signal ahead is showing a restricted, red or yellow, or passive green aspect. This helps the driver to know if they're expecting to take action as a result of the approaching signal. Okay. Quick reactions. When the AWS sound is related to a restrictive aspect, the driver is required to acknowledge their awareness of it. This requires pushing a button in the cab. As it is safety critical, only a few seconds are given for the driver to react or the train brakes will automatically be applied. The train will pass two ramps for signals ahead which will cause the AWS to trigger. All right. Hopefully it's gonna zoom in on where this button is. We're ripping around the corner here. Keeping my eyes forward, stay safe, stay vigilant, stay aware, or whatever that saying is. Here comes one, I can see it. Okay, so boomfer, you go down here, here's the AWS, you go boomfer here, click it, and everyone's happy about life. And it was a yellow, whatever that means. I think signals are coming up, so that probably means slow down or something. Or ducks crossing, you never know. Here we go, it looks like keep ripping along this track here the next signal is beyond the station ahead this time you will not be prompted remember respond to AWS by clicking the yellow AWS acknowledge I'm down with that where is it it's right there right Bumper. okay so we are moving quite nicely We're moving quite fast in fact and these guys hopefully there's no passengers waiting to get on it looks like this lady here wants to get on uh, but unfortunately sorry about that I'm just gonna rip straight through here now you might want to catch the next train there is no next train. Who are we kidding? Here we go. Yes! You correctly reacted to the AWS alert. AWS is a feature in all modern UK trains to warn the driver about signals. Stay alert. Stay vigilant. Stay safe. Oh, I'll just do that. I might just do that. Okay, the scenario is complete. Oh, we are very safe now. There's no doubt about it. And I think, guys, that is a good time to wrap up this particular tutorial. We have ripped through the safety aspects of these trains. Good to know, though. We want to be safe. And coming up in the next episodes, we'll take a look at the signaling, uh, the signaling tutorials, which are actually the last tutorials it looks like in the series. So we might need to break those down into a, a couple of different episodes. But hey, once again, thank you very much for checking out this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. 
We're starting to learn quite a bit, so hopefully we will be able to get out there and they'll let us loose on a real train in the real on a real track somewhere. They'll probably be a bit stupid to do that, but whatever. Let's go with it. Anyway, smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and until next time, take it easy.